Okay, now, this is almost stomach-turning. Um, there is a new twist in the file encrypting malware uh, environment. Uh, th this one is the first one to emerge is popcorn time. And remember when we first saw this a few years ago and it was immediately clear, oh, <laughs> we're going to have more of this. Because if this is making money, you know, pe the, the files people care about are now no longer available to them. But if they pay up, they can they can get their files back. So, yes, as as expected, there's been an explosion of file encrypting malware, unfortunately. Well, now there's a new twist. This one, the first one of these to do this is called popcorn time. And when the warning message comes up. Uh, you have not one thing you can do, but a choice. The, the first thing you can do is the standard, which is pay one Bitcoin, which today is $780. Um, so that's, you know, it's, it's been creeping upwards. It was 450 for a long time. Now it's about 780. So that's choice A. And get a load of choice B. If you want your files back, you also receive a custom infection link. Oh, no. From these people. And if you arrange using your custom infection link to get at least two other people infected who pay oh, that's so evil you then get your files back <laughs> oh my multi-level virus marketing yes oh and that is nasty it is just it's brilliantly horribly awful nasty, nasty. it really is oh. so so think about what this does. Think about what it means. First of all, $780, current Bitcoin, that's expensive. And the other problem with the whole Bitcoin thing is it's still not easy. I mean, even if you had the will to pay someone a Bitcoin, you know, my mom doesn't know how to do that. I mean, you know, it's it's, I know. it's not an easy thing to do. You have so to have some to begin with. I mean, right. We gotta you gotta go, go get buy one. it. Yeah. Right. So there's a, a a a significant conceptual and performance hurdle just associated with arranging payment if you wanted to do that. So that creates additional pressure aside from the seven hundred and eighty dollars, but now you've got an alternative. <laughs> and it's awful. I mean, wow. Uh, now, okay, now, as if these guys were not cretinous enough, and Leo, um, I, I put a link to the full-size warning message because I had, because there's a lot of fine print in it, and, he, and the show notes are very, make it difficult to read. But as if these guys were not cretinous enough, they then, in this message, proceed to claim that they are Syrians hmm. and that the proceeds from this extortion quote, will be used for food, medicine, and shelter. Oh, you're helping to refugees. To those <laughs> is in not need. nice. Uh, then, quote, we are extremely sorry that, yeah, huh, that we are forcing you to pay, but that's the only way that we can keep living. And... And then I said, and in case you thought that, that you still thought they might be good guys, reverse engineering of the code has appeared to indicate that four wrong guesses, four <laughs> misentries of the key will trigger permanent deletion of the still encrypted files. Wow. So, yikes. And, and it, uh, unfortunately... I mean, and they even say that in their message that says restoring your files the fast and easy way. Unfortunately, it's not that fast. Bitcoin, as we were saying, isn't. And then the alternative is, and they say this, restoring your files 
the nasty way. <laughs> At least they know it's, just, it's nasty. Yeah, send the link below to other people. If two or more people install this file and pay, we will decrypt your files for free. <laughs> oh, wow. That is and just, wow. unfortunately, it has a creepy feeling of success yeah. in the same way that when we first encountered the concept of file encrypting ransomware, it was like, oh, this is going to be bad. And, you know, the, as you said, the multi-level marketing <laughs> uh, and spreading. I mean, because what will happen is people, presumably you're not going to do this to someone you like. Well, so, that's true. <laughs> it actually can be weaponized for people you don't like. <laughs> that's a good point. Well, but, you know, so you, there, there are people you don't like, but who you know enough about and so this, so this is always the challenge, of right. course, with social engineering, is that it's it's a scatter shot. Well, this this is now a sniper rifle because you know who you're who you don't like and who you want to to help you get halfway off the hook, and so you can use your knowledge of this person to incent them to click this link to you know to synthesize an email which would be especially relevant to them oh it, it's just you know so it's like a social engineering multi-level phishing file encrypting malware it's just Oosh. incredible so and again i have to say diabolically clever because you know i Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people so spend it, send it along. I'm sure it happens. Everybody be careful yeah. because yikes. Sorry.